morning dear students welcome to computer class of class 6 now all of you are familiar the world as well as india is suffering from the deadly corona virus follow the safety measures so that you your family surroundings as well as the world as well as india is free from this virus but we should not forget our studies Whatever the explanation I am giving from chapter 1, make sure you note down all these important points in your computer copies, note down the important topics. When the school reopens, I will check the copies. Class 6, Subject Computer, Chapter 1, Categories of Computers and Computer Languages. Now, all of you are familiar that all of you are familiar with the term computer. Now, the computer which we are using nowadays, the laptop, desktop, or the smartphone, or what we are using. So, there is a stages of development how these computers are developed. Now, categories of computers a computer can be classified on the basis of four major categories that are as follows based on generation based on type based on purpose based on size now we'll deal with the first one based on generation now generations are classified into five types first generation computer second generation computers third generation computers fourth generation computers fifth generation computers now fifth first generation computers starting from 1940 to 1956 now in first generation computer that there was a main use of vacuum tubes vacuum tubes was the main component in the first generation computer next Second generation computer starting from the year 1956 to 1963, the main component was transistor. Now, because of this transistor, the size of the computer became smaller, less use of electricity and the less production of heat. Now, again in the third generation computer starting from 1964 to 1971, the it the main component used was integrated circuit. Now, integrated circuit, again further, if we compare with the second generation, the size got reduced, more storage space, and more and many more advantages. Next, fourth generation computers, starting from 1971 to 1985, the development of microprocessor. Now, this because of this microprocessor, the computer, the size of the computer got reduced, less heat, less uh, amount of energy being let and amount of energies are being used. Now, now the latest version of the microprocessor, what we are using is the i7. Now, before i7, i5 was there, then i3. The latest version of the microprocessor named is i7. Next, fifth generation computers, it is from the present and the future. The main component was the development of AI. AI stands for Artificial Intelligence and the uh, it is the main use of the robot. Now, there is a robot with the name Sophia which can do the work or thing like a human being. Now, next category based on type. Under based on type, we have three types analog computer, digital computer, and then third one is hybrid computer. Now, in case of analog computer, I can give an ex a small example of a clock, normal clock. So, that is an example of an analog computer. Now, this is the example. This is the example of an analog computer. So it works on varying physical quantities. 
नेक्स्ट इज कमिंग द डिजिटल कंप्यूटर मीन आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ यू सीन दिस डिजिटल वॉचेस नॉर्मल डिजिटल वॉचेस व्हिच आर बीइंग यूज्ड नाउ व्हिच यू गेट इजीली इन द मार्केट फॉर हंड्रेड रुपीज और टू हंड्रेड रुपीज और समटाइम्स इन द फ्लिपकार्ट ऑल्सो यू गेट ऑल दो सो दो डिजिटल वंस आर नोन एज दो डिजिटल वॉचेस कम्स अंडर दिस कैटेगरी नाउ दिस नेक्स्ट वन कम्स अंडर द हाइब्रिड हाइब्रिड कंप्यूटर इफ यू सी दिस वॉच this watch has both the features of first computer uh, first watch and the second one so if you see nicely see the clock hands are also there and below also the digital readings are also there next based on purpose so it is divided into type two types one we have the special purpose computer second one is general purpose computer special uh, purpose computer means so if you see this picture if you see this picture a scientist is sitting in front so like uh, the places like either a pilot or weather forecasting center or in a bank or in a many important places so there the computers are made for the special purpose now this now if we come to this general purpose so it's, it's a normal laptop laptop desktop or the computers which are there in our computer lab those comes under the general purpose computers next based on size and the based on size we have micro computer mini computers mainframe computers super computers now micro computers refers to this micro means this laptop laptop comes under micro computer because of its size now little bit bigger size comes under mini computers or we can say those desktop computers desktop computers uh, comes under this mini computer whose size is bigger next comes as the mainframe computer so the size is bigger these are mostly used for the scientific purpose organization research centers and all next and the last one comes and the last one is coming under super computers super computers are normally used for weather forecasting for fighting war against our enemies or in the banks so in the etc those places we are using now the launching of the satellites in the space we require the help of this super computer computer language now as we talk in hindi or bengali computer also has a language of its own through which you, through which the computer communicates with the user now this computer languages are classified into two types in low level language high level language now low level language are further classified into two types machine level language assembly level language in machine level language so it is written in the form of binary digits of 0 and 1 so the programming codes were written in form of 101010 which was very difficult to understand to store it for a future reference next type come as the assembly level in case of assembly level there was a de development of mnemonics means certain codes were being developed like add stands for the addition of two numbers subtraction similar more words were there now next comes as the high level language the high level language is the modern language which started from development after 1980 now the uh, the language it is similar to english language which we are studying at present now the examples of high level language are java c c++ now this language java will study from class 8 onwards means this language will be taught to you when you come up to class 8 9 10 11 12 c and c++ these two are also very very important and useful languages which will be taught later in c this c++ is being taught in the cbsc 11 12 we taught this java from 9 to class 12 now now we are coming to the last part of the chapter we have this one assembler compiler the main function of the assembler is it will convert 
assembly level language to machine level language by the use of assembler now you will say why this assembler as well as this compiler is important now the problem is the computer at present understands only machine level language so assembly level language with the help of assembler we convert to machine level language and in case of a high level language like suppose c c++ we convert this high level language into machine level language with the help of compiler and this di difference between difference between compiler and interpreter is very very important so we have this two points of difference converts high level converts the entire program into machine code at once it converts the entire program into machine code line by line it displays the errors for the entire program only after compilation it displays the error of one line at a time during the conversion to machine level now example compiler examples are c c++ example of interpreter is qbasic thank you if you have any queries you can call me anytime